I thought I'd talk about why I became an artist. And um, I don't think there's any one factor. Um, it's dependent on a lot of things that we don't have control over. For instance, uh, I was lucky enough to go through elementary and junior high and high school through a school system, Midview High, uh, that really believed in quality education. And though I was from a blue collar neighborhood, our parents saw the importance of getting an education and going on to college and, and doing something more than they did. So I was lucky in that way. And um, then I had art teachers who were really good, so they encouraged me, and that was that was fun. And um, between when I was eight and seventeen, I wasn't sure what I was going to do. I leaned towards art and mathematics, and I wasn't sure where I was going to go to college or what I was going to do. Um, but, uh, and like all kids, it was, oh, I'm going to be a pilot, I'm going to be a, uh, um, a zoologist, a botanist. Um, I tended to go towards the science and mathematics and then the arts. Um, but when I was uh, 17, I was hanging around the art department so much that I would come into school on Saturdays, me and a friend. And um, I was thinking, well, you, you like hanging in the art department even when you're not supposed to be here. And I thought, maybe this is my career. I love it so much. So once that decision was made, I never looked back. I made a decision. But there were a lot of influences in my life, and um, some of the things we had around the house, like books, uh, illustrated books. So I have a set of uh, Golden Book encyclopedias that, this is not the set I had as a kid, but it's the same set that my mom and dad had purchased for us and my brother and me and I loved the covers were these Trump Loy covers and inside 90% of the images in here were um, illustrations and I would just sit for hours and look at these things just the pictures and things like that another thing was my Mom bought this book called The World We Live In. And this is the original book she bought. So back in the 1950s. And in here are um, just beautiful illustrations of um, how volcanoes work and surfaces. And these are illustrations that are in the Smithsonian. So my love of science and math and every and art all come together. And this is a little book, not the original. Again, I found this in, uh, in an antique store um, that I got in second grade. I just love the story and I love the illustrations. And so I, I saw early on that you could actually make a living as an artist. And it was eye-opening. So, like I said, a number of factors come into play. And it's the people around you. Are they encouraging you? Is, do they think it's important? And um, one other weird thing was the fact I was a girl. Um, my parents kind of gave more freedom to me than they did my brother who was expected to go on and be a lawyer, doctor, engineer or whatever and he too ended up going to art school 
they weren't as happy with it, but um, he enjoyed it. And he actually ended up becoming a dental lab tech. And uh, the same applications that applied to making jewelry applied to making dentures, which is really interesting. So there you could get artistic training and then go on to do something that is more practical. Uh, like I went on to advertising and I still do my fine arts on the side and that's given me a lot of freedom because I've been able to be more experimental. So um, if you're trying to encourage your child's artistic bent, get them a cool set of books, encourage them. Um, make sure your schools have the funding um, so they can start their way out to be an artist or whatever, a scientist. Make sure schools have that funding and that's where it all starts. And I hope you enjoy this video. It's short and sweet, so, um, but it answers a question I've always been asked. And thank you.